guys, my name is Dolly Flex. I'm a custom jewelry designer, and today we're going to be talking about resin ashes jewelry. So if you're not familiar with it, it's a form of jewelry where we insert the ashes in a kind of like a mixture called resin. And we're going to be going over all the pros and cons. So if this is something that may interest you, you're going to be able to know what to look for before purchasing. Alrighty, so let's start with the pros. The number one reason why I found that clients like resin ashes jewelry is because it's one of the main ways that you can actually see the ashes. Because when you're working with resin, um, you can make it as opaque or as translucent as you want. The second thing is in comparison to gemstones, resin is actually relatively inexpensive. So what's that mean? That means that you can basically get any size of ring. You can go very, very small, little accent stones, all the way to maybe, let's say, a much larger center stone. And it's going to be relatively inexpensive. You're more going to be paying for the cost in labor than you're actually paying for the cost of materials. In comparison, choose a ring with a gemstone. Having those larger carat weights can probably cost a lot more. They're also extremely versatile. Because resin is kind of like a gooey substance, it can basically take on any shape, any size that you want, which is really fun. So this allows you to get a little bit more creative and really choose a design that works for you. Another great thing is that resin is super durable. So you can smack it, you can wear it every day and it's going to kind of withstand that everyday wear and tear. Uh, which is great because obviously this is a jewel that you will probably never be taking off. And like even if you were to let's say somehow scratch it, it's super easy to buff it out fill it with a little bit more resin and it's going to be brand new. And because it's so durable, I honestly find that it's a much better technique to use than let's say um, a lot of times we'll see like Ashes Jewelry where it's a screw in. Uh, that's not necessarily waterproof. The screws can wear over time. So these are kind of things that I don't really like doing for clients for those reasons. This is going to be a much safer alternative. Now that we've touched on the pros, let's talk about the cons. So the one thing that is a little bit tricky is that the surface is first of all flat. So if you wanted something more of kind of like a gemstone with facets, that's not really a possibility. Um, so it's not going to have the exact same aesthetic. Another thing is that sometimes the ashes can kind of stick out a little bit and there's not that much that we can do. The way that we're able to see the ashes is that we have to put them a little bit higher within the resin. And so sometimes, um, let's get real, all the ashes are not necessarily the same consistency. Sometimes it can be very um, fine like a very fine powder and sometimes they can be a little bit more chunky and so when this does happen sometimes they can protrude ever so slightly on the surface creating tiny micro bumps is this a big deal not really you're not gonna see it unless if you're really looking but you have to be realistic in the sense that it's not gonna be you know flush 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 otherwise we would have to grind down the ashes and I personally don't want to do that because I feel it's a little bit disrespectful there are a lot of colors to choose from you know you can you can basically get any color in the rainbow greens blues oranges I'd say that some of the colors especially the darker shades can have a little bit of discrepancy because say you're doing a very dark green or a very dark blue, when you're adding ashes to the mixture, which is a paler color, usually they are very light shades of gray, this will influence the final color of your piece. And so you will receive, you know, color swatches to approve before like it's actually being made. We will try to get it as exact as possible, but you need to just be a little bit realistic in the sense that it can vary slightly. All right, if you have any other questions or concerns or anything that we didn't answer, you can always leave me comments down below and we'll try to answer them within the first two hours. And uh, if you are interested in one, you can always send us an email. The links are down below. And thanks for watching. My name is Dominic Flex and I'll see you next time.